<laughs> What's in there? It's a gold thing. Guts. Ew. Not oh, we missed the good bad. part. I didn't show him getting. We'll have to. Well, the there next will one. be others. There'll be a few more. Just a few more pumpkins. Fifteen hours. This thing will stay lit. Well, it says it's an LED light. Yeah, they don't draw much. Mmm, pumpkin. So the pumpkin carving madness is starting as I walk through the dark and my camera's gonna freak out. <laughs> Printing out some patterns. Look in the hallway. Printing out some patterns for some friends of ours. We're all downstairs working on pumpkins. This is day one. Um, I don't know how many will get done tonight, but we'll see. Hey, where'd my pattern go? We don't screw around when we cut lids off pumpkins. <laughs> Now we're going to take this fun tool and get all the guts out. That's called a pumpkin gutter. Shiloh, what do you have? Are you eating pumpkin? Probably. Are you like, I'm getting the overflow here. Are you, what do you, look at all these pumpkin pieces. Are you waiting for a pumpkin piece? You want a piece? Mmm, pumpkin. Is that good stuff? Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it on there. Most people take these and they tape these on there and then they roll it around. I cheat. I use transfer paper. So we're going to transfer it onto there now. There. All right, pattern is transferred. You can kind of see it. Now I have to start carving. Lynn's doing this pattern. She's got that cool Dremel tool. It's taken just the surface of the pumpkin off. That one's gonna look really cool when it's done. You can see where she's already done it here. That'll be pretty cool. I have to show her the crazy one. I can't see it till it's done. No way. Because if I don't finish it, then... <laughs> then we won't know what it's supposed to look like. Fine. And I can't see Randy's. Fine, I'll go look at Terry's. See if anybody can guess what it is. Because Terry does the cool ones. <laughs> what do you think, huh? What do you think? Crazy puppies. I'm giving people previews, but I'm not lighting them up. <laughs> you have to come back and watch for the end. I can't show you Jamie's. You can kind of see some of these that are done. No lit up previews till it's all over. Oh, that one kind of looks lit up because the light's shining in it. And Terry's still working. <laughs> it's looking pretty cool. Game, game. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell that when there's lots of people here, I don't vlog as much as usual? <laughs> we were all so busy. We'll kind of show you a preview, only quickly. See, now what we do after we carve the pumpkins, this is our disaster zone. We take and we set up a little station, which I think this is the coolest station we've ever set up for taking pictures. I have camera on a tripod. Jamie's washing out one of the pumpkins that I did. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> um, anyway, set the camera on the tripod, set the pumpkins over there, and we try to get one shot of each pumpkin that night. Just in case if something happens, if it rots, or if we drop one, which that has happened before, we have at least one good picture of every pumpkin that we carved for Halloween. So this is the end of day one. Yeah, see. Ta-da! I guess we'll show you that one lit up. That's the only one I've showed them lit up so far. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Smurfette. I did that one. Yep. That was all me, baby. <laughs> uh, well, it's late. Photo. Yeah, it's late. We gotta take photos, so bye. And there it is. A Siberian Husky pumpkin. I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to preserve a pumpkin. This is what we do. Now remember, our pumpkins have to last a couple days, so this is what we do. We take the pumpkin. I should probably have everything I need over here. <laughs> we take the pumpkin. We take saran wrap. We take Lysol, because Lysol helps disinfect and stop bacterial growth, which what disintegrates pumpkins is mold and bacteria. You gotta treat it like food, right? Uh, except you don't Lysol food. Oh, true. He has a point. Don't lice all your food.
bad idea. It might last longer in the fridge if you do, but it's not recommended to eat afterwards. Yeah. So. Just kind of spritz it, open it up, spritz the lid, spritz it in. That's it. Good to go. Then we wrap it in saran wrap, which I have to help and can't hold the camera at the same time. So, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. There it is. And then store them in a cool, dry place, which is our garage. Did I show you guys the stove yet? It got decorated too. There's some blood on it and a wolf head. Ta da! Okay, now we're really going to bed. Whoa, when we're done wrapping the pumpkins. Day one, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven done! Day one. <laughs> Woohoo! There's a total of 85, so you do the math. It's too late for that crap. One more thing. If you're looking for a good place to get pumpkin patterns, zombiepumpkins.com is my favorite. Stonykins.com is another one that I go to. I'll put some descriptions down below so you guys can get your own pumpkin. See? Zombie pumpkins. Good sight. More elk. They're way over there. We got a whole bunch of them. Hey, look, there's one of the milkweeds opened up. All fluffy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh.